In this video I will show you how to bake a German bread. The German bread needs a sourdough and to do this you need to start it three days ahead of your bread making. I will show you how to do this and once you have your sourdough you can use it over and over again for the rest of your life. So this time investment will pay off. Um, so I will show you step by step, day by day, how to make the sourdough and then move on in this video to show you how to make the actual German bread, which will be a mixed bread or mischport uh, made from wheat and uh, from rye. It's very tasteful, it's one of our favorites and it's not really difficult, you just need to know how to do it. So have fun, watch the video, stay until the very end and don't miss the German lesson. It is very easy to start a sourdough. It's not a lot of work, it just needs a lot of patience. So first of all, um, I take some flour and I measure 50 grams. Oh, it's a little bit too much, Let's take some off. That's precise enough, even for a German. And then I will add some water. It's 50 milliliters of lukewarm water. And I stir it. And this is all I have to do for the first day. I will cover it with some cellophane. I will cover it and put it aside in a very warm place. So this is day two and you can see that our sourdough starter has already created some bubbles and there's not much to do here right now except for adding another 50 gram of flour. and 50 milliliters of lukewarm water. And I stir this again, mix it together, and then it goes right back to a warm place where it will sit for another 24 hours. Now this is day three and um, you can see that the sourdough has a lot of bubbles here everywhere, a lot more than yesterday and it smells very sour. What I'm going to do today is basically what I did the other days, but this time I will add 100 gram of flour. a little more and I will also add 100 milliliter of water so I basically double the amount that I already have in my bowl every day and I'm gonna stir this for a while to get out all the lumps
and I cover it with some cleaning wrap and put it back on my windowsill. Another 24 hours have passed and our sourdough is ready. You can see lots of bubbles and it smells sour. And yeah, I could use it right now, but um, I don't have time to bake a bread right now. So I will just do this and put it in a jar. And this is basically the beginning of a very long and very good relationship because this sourdough will be used for lots of bread and I would show you in my next chapter how this works because you don't have to make a new sourdough every time you want to make a bread you just need it once and when you have your sourdough you just use some part of it and feed it again and that's the way how it never stops and um, the longer you have your sourdough the more taste it will develop and if a baker in Germany has a very old sourdough the taste has very intense very good flavor all right so this goes into the fridge and this is the place where I want to keep it. If I don't use it for a longer time, I just stir it every now and then. And whenever I want to bake a bread, it will be ready and there for me. And I will just use it for everything I want to bake with sourdough. The day before you want to bake your bread, you need to prepare a pre-dough and that's pretty easy. So you start with some rye flour, 265 grams. And then you add 280 milliliter of lukewarm water. And now you can, oops, now you will add some of your sourdough. And when I just opened it, there was a little sish noise, which just shows me this is really working. And when I smell it, it smells very sour. So we need 70 grams of this. Okay. And I stir this. And this 70 grams of sourdough, sour, um, sourdough is um, what I will return tomorrow to that jar. But first I need to stir this. And then it needs to be placed at a warm place, maybe at a window and stay there for 24 hours. Okay. Oh, there's 
lawn crew is coming. I don't know if you can hear it on the video. But I should be finished in a sec. So this goes to the windowsill and will be the next step for our bread. Twenty-four hours have passed and you can see that my starter dough looks quite nice, sort of foamy. And I don't need it right now, but in a few minutes. However, first I will have to start and prepare the rest of my dough. For this, I take out 260 gram of all-purpose flour still more okay and 260 gram actually yes and with, let me think. I think it's just 240 gram of the all-purpose. Let's take some back. Probably we wouldn't make really a difference, but you know. Let's go. And, so for the rye flour. This is where I use 260 gram. I got my rye flour at Whole Foods. Our grocery used to carry it but doesn't anymore. All right, so now I have 230 milliliter of water and we'll add 10 gram of yeast just to let it rise a little bit and I also have to add some more salt at least 10 gram but I personally prefer my bread a little more salty use like 15 gram and you might have noticed you may have noticed that I did not use any sugar and that's one of the biggest differences between American bread and German bread we don't put sugar in our bread now I steer this a little bit Add it to the flour. Okay. Now this will go to the machine in a sec, but I also want to show you how I feed my sourdough. So I used 70 gram of my sourdough yesterday. And now I will feed 70 gram from my starter dough back into this jar. Yep, that's precise. I will steer it a little bit and then it goes right back into the fridge until I need to bake another bread. And it will go on like this for as long as I want to bake bread. And with every bread that I bake and every time I return some of my sourdough, this sourdough will be fed not only with 
another dough, but also with a really good, increasingly good taste. And that's how it's done. So you only have to prepare a sourdough once, and after that you just keep using and feeding it. So before I add the sourdough, I will quickly knead this in the machine. Now if you want to add some bread spice, then this would be a good moment to do it. I have about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of uh, bread spice that I add here. You might want to start with half a teaspoon because not everyone likes bread spice. And uh, if you are baking the next bread and you really like the taste, so you can just add more as you want. And now I will add the sourdough starter dough. And I will knead it again. Okay. Let's take this off. And I do. Oops. I don't need this anymore. Now I put some of my flour on the surface. And I scrap the dough out of my bowl right on top the surface. And then I will give it a quick knead and I will show you how I do it. very heavy. More flour. So what I do is I fold it from one side, from the other side. Like this. And at the end I have this kind of flat surface right here and this is where the dough was put together and this is what I have but you don't have to have it it is uh, made for having the bread rise and it gives it a very nice very beautiful um, what's it called? Not texture. I just can't think of a name. I have so many times that I do know the English word for something, but I just can't reach it. But I, I guess you know what I mean, so it, it will look very nice. Now I put this bread 
in here with the nice and flat surface on the bottom. Put it right in here. And now it has to rise for at least one hour and maybe a little more. Now, this has been on my windowsill for an hour, a little more than that, and look how this has turned out. It looks just perfect. It has risen quite a bit and now it's ready to go into the oven. I've preheated my oven to 465 degrees Fahrenheit and um, I will now use some parchment paper and a cooling rack just to get the bread out of this form. And you don't need to have a form like that, you can just use a baking form. And I hope it will lose. Yeah, perfect. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I love it. I love it. So, the baking sheet in the oven is very hot and I will get it out of the oven now. Place it here. And at the same time, I will put this casserole with some water into the oven. What I want is a certain amount of humidity in my oven. Because that creates this delicious crust. And now I take my bread and put it on the very hot baking sheet. And that's how I put it in the oven for an hour. After 10 minutes I will um, turn down the temperature to like 290 degrees and then I will bake it for another 40 minutes and before the baking time is over I will check on the bread. If it's getting too dark I can still add some aluminum, aluminum foil on top of it so it will not be too dark but my oven has a very good temperature measurement so I am not too worried about that. And you see this bread once it's done. The 15 minutes are over and my bread is ready. Look at it. It looks very nice. Still hot of course. And to find out if my bread was in the oven long enough I have to just knock on the bottom and if it sounds hollow that means your bread is ready. So I will let it cool for a little bit and then I will cut it open so you can see what it looks like from the inside. Be right back. So that bread has cooled down. It's still a little warm but I want to cut it. I will just cut it in half so you can take a good look at it. I might even freeze one half and use it another day since we probably will not eat the whole bread in the next 24 hours and I like my bread to be very fresh. So you can see it's still a little bit um, warm but you see it has very small holes, not very large. That's different from the bread that you bake when you use just yeast and no sourdough. And this is just the texture that I was hoping for. And I will now take a slice of this bread and eat it first with butter. And we'll just enjoy it because this is German's heaven. And today's German word is Abendbrot. Abendbrot means dinner and this word is a composition of two words actually. The first word is Abend which means evening and the second word is Brot which means bread. Abendbrot, evening bread. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so I would be happy about a thumbs up on YouTube and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe so you can see a lot of more German recipes on this channel.